Good morning, um, we have by the L5 um, just your normal daily checks on your machine. Uh, most important check is your quick hitch pins. You have two pins, one this side, one the other side, it's hydraulically activated. Um, and then you have your tap here. This is your safety tap, so this is also the function to interchange before between your um, hydraulics external and your quick hitch pins so if it's like this it's going towards your external hydraulics then your pins cannot remove in if it's like this you can push the button there on the on the um, operator's platform and then the pins goes in and out so usually it's always safe to keep it like that then you know by accident you can't detach your um, attachment in the front on your H frame you have um, um, 11 um, grease nipples on the all the pivots so you have a grease nipple here you have a grease nipple here then here then here here again and then you have that side one this side one on this cylinder in the front and at the rear and on that cylinder in the front and at the rear we have the, those pins on your quick hitch you don't have a grease nipple but it's uh, manually lubricated so when you detach and attach you can just uh, just put some some grease on there manually it's on these pins once you detach your bucket you can see that in your in your center steer you have uh, quite a few there's um, five grease nipples here you have two on your cylinders one here and one you lift up this bucket then you can reach through that hole there there's the other grease nipple right there Okay, um, at the bottom tie rod you have one nipple here, this is, do not excessive grease here, it's only one pump there, you don't want to squish off your boot, the same on the top one, um, there is another grease nipple inside but the, it's located here via a part, there it's easy access nipple. On this machine you only have three oil levels, um, you have your oil level for the front diff the back diff is exactly the same this is your inspection hole if you open up there and there's a little bit of oil coming out or you can feel the oil level then you know it's on its mark this take normal ATW 90 and then the same at the rear okay and then you have your hydraulic oil so you'll see here you can just remove this tank if you cannot see it clearly but inside there is a side glass it's a plastic glass a square this height You'll see the oil level is at three quarters. Um, there is a red line that you can fill it up to. That is your hydraulic oil. So um, that's the other oil to check. It takes normal 68 hydraulic oil. There is a sticker on once you remove that panel. That's all. This is your filler cap for your hydraulic oil. It is also a breather. You'll see on the inside of the cap, there's breathing holes there. There's a strainer inside so the um, nothing gets into it okay right here you have your brake fluid level it's normal dot four brake fluid you can just open up just below the neck it's about approximately here in the bottle is your level um, then you have your fuse boxes here ignition switch here main cut off here this there's two fuses located on this machine that is hidden. Um, it's not in the fuse box. You have a big main fuse that's sitting right here. So the only thing is you loosen these two bolts at the back. One here, one here. Then you flip up over the cap. Then you will get access to that main fuse there. Um, the other main fuse you will see is right here. You just open this box. This is your two control um, computers. So there's a small, I think it's a 25 amp fuse um, sitting in there. If that one is dead, you're also good. This is going to be off. Okay, you have your handbrake here. This is your brake pedal. So when you want to put on your handbrake, you just step it like that. Release. It's just like that. Okay, you have your charger here. Once plugged in, you'll see there's lights coming on there. This light will be on. And then when... You open this flap, you have your plug, just plug it in, then you will notice this one will automatically start charging. There you can see it's now on 100%, that is why that light is um, green currently. 
if it needs a charge you will see this DC um, light will start flashing until it's at 100% okay. okay so from charging you leave the, the ignition off while you charge it can be on but it's, it's useless um, so when you want to check and make sure on the dashboard it's charged you will see there your battery is there at 100% this is your hour meter this is your current voltage okay and lastly part of your daily inspection is just a general walk around inspection so on your walk around inspection you just check for any loose pipes any oil leaks underneath the machines any noticeable bolts um, usually when you when you grease a, a grease nipple you check while you're greasing is that bolt tight can you see a gap there um, on your pipes you can just feel there if they all tight no leaks um, just check underneath your machine if there's any leaks present then you need to investigate and let us know so we can assist um, so that's that's all on your on your daily checks wheel nuts um, all those type of things you can just um, inspect there if you see if you notice something strange with it um, and then in the in the first while when everything is, is operating and the paint is weighing out and everything you can just have a quick check um, your wheel nuts um, all those type of things your pin bolts um, so you can just check all those um, um, critical bolts on that